Hi, I'm Jane Esselstyn. Okay. I'm Anne Esselstyn. And I'm Kyle Hart, Kyle Esselstyn Hart. Yes. So we have Kyle. She's my, my granddaughter and my your daughter. daughter. We're, we're feeling very possessive of you. Um, and today we're not come, working out of one of our cookbooks, which I think is so wonderful how our kids can influence us and encourage us and help us to learn to try their things. So we're doing bacon and French toast plant-based versions thereof today. And Kryle has found some cool people on Instagram that she does two goofs around the kitchen and tries all kinds of stuff. So who are these people that influenced you this time? Um, so the Instagram handle, Plant You and Fit Green Mind have both influenced the recipes for today. They're kind of a combination of testing out and see what works, but yeah, credit goes to them. So what's the first thing we're doing? So the first thing we're actually gonna do is Rice paper bacon. This is actually, I found this just the other day and I was very excited to try it. And it was good. We all loved it. She loves crunch, so it, it was all her favorite. But you just need your typical. Actually, we get. Rice oh, spring rolls. oh, we are preheated to 400, by the way. Um, these are, we love getting the, um, the brown rice paper spring rolls because there is an option to get a brown rice, brown, bleh, bleh, brown rice paper ones versus white rice. And, um, this one has not been opened, but when we open them, show them how we store. Uh, we like to store it in a plastic Ziploc bag so they stay nice and fresh. Because they will, they will get, you just want them to keep them crispy. So what do we do? So the first thing we'll do is um, Anne and I are going to take these sheets of rice paper. They look kind of like see-through. We're going to get some scissors and we're just going to cut them into strips of bacon. So like an inch or two inch thick strips well. My mom well, we, we get this, uh, makes uh, the sauce. And I'm gonna make the sauce, which is a combination of tamari, nutritional yeast, liquid smoke, maple syrup, garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, and black pepper. So I'm just gonna go with these. She's handwritten down her combination of these different recipes. Oh, the fee, five, fo fum. Um, I'm watching you, Kryl, oh, before okay. I cut. So you definitely wanna cut gently because it's rice paper is very fragile. So the corn pieces are just going to be a little awkward, but. And um, they, sometimes they break in half accidentally. So yeah. I just put a tablespoon of soy sauce or jamari. I think we should do two at a time, Kyle. Yeah, you can totally do it that way. It's faster. A pinch of nutritional yeast. Two tablespoons liquid smoke? Mm -hmm. That's a lot of liquid smoke. Just am. It's got to taste like bacon. It tastes like bacon. So one, two. Who knew it was that much? And then some maple syrup. I think the syrup was actually kind of cool because it helps make it um, have a, a, um, a lustry, right? some body to it. So you can, so I'm kind of cutting them thick, Anne's cutting them thin. Oh no, I'm going thick now. I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't looking close enough. No, so you can do either way. It just, when we get to the cooking part, that will. It'll, it'll play out differently. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of an adventure. Um, all right, what do I do now? So I just I put. Um, you want more? Two tablespoons of maple enough, syrup. Kyle. Two tablespoons of maple syrup after I put two tablespoons of liquid smoke. We're gonna do one so more. now I'm going to do some garlic powder and onion powder. And a half half of a. And Anne and I are cutting our second sheet. And I'm getting much ooh much faster. <laughs> are you getting wider? Wider, uh, faster, more confident. There you go. That's what we're trying to. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I, they, I they, they, too mind confident. And I was too confident too. Oh, oh no! <laughs> this is crack. They're crackling, but it's kind of good because we have to just match up ones that fit. That, that yeah, are, it's like a puzzle piece. You'll see why it's a puzzle piece in a minute. Some oh, smoked Kyle. paprika. My con. The first one was perfect. I had no cracks. <laughs> is it going downhill? <laughs> this is a tough piece. I love it when the wheels fall off the bus and you have to just. Kind of Make do. And my last one is going to be really thick. So I put in our garlic powder and onion powder, about a half teaspoon each, and then um, some a quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika. And now my fee fi fo fum quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And you can really smell it. Woo! That's awesome. I love Oh, I thought that was a fork. OK. That's too thick. Oh, that's fine. My, I have pieces like that, too. Oh, good. The corner pieces are a little awkward, but. So here's here's your pan. Do you want a bigger pan? Uh, you could do you could do bigger. Yeah, we'll 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 see what fits first. You didn't scrunch up the oh. this first. 
The parchment lined pan, the scrunching it up we found helps it behave better. Do you do it every time now too? <laughs> That's great. We need a bigger piece of parchment. Well, we can get another tray if we need to. Okay, this is ready. So how do, tell, tell, tell them what, what, oh, we're, what we you need. need. A plate of water. Is it warm water, cold water? Does it matter? Um, I've never found that it matters too much. So we have a plate of water that we are going to ah. briefly dip the strips of rice paper in. Just kind of a front and back, flip it, make sure the, the corners get it. Sorry, the garlic powder is not absorbing. It's kind of floating on top. Hey! And I'm going to place it down onto the sheet. We'll have to do. And then, all right, Anne, you're getting ahead of you're, you're, you're getting ahead of you're so ahead of me. <laughs> I thought um, I was being helpful. Yeah, you're, you're, you're are great. Being very helpful. Mm. Um, I will then take this sauce and generously just well, swipe you're, it, you're pour it. This is okay. On top. Make sure to coat as much as you can. And then, so actually we'll take that one piece? that Anne's just did. This is another wet piece, and I'm going to place it directly on top of the one that oh. I just covered. And then I'm going to do a, another oh. little Interesting. coating of it. Yeah, so it's so like a, it's like a double layer. From, and now are you yeah. ready for so the yes. next one? Yeah, I'll do this one, and then you can place it. Kind of sandwich it. Yep. And you want to kind of you want to layer it as perfectly as possible because they the thicknesses will cook differently in the oven. So that's why I you want a puzzle piece. Oh my together. gosh! So I need to find a fat piece. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You want a crow. piece. <laughs> Holy crow! There isn't a fat one. Well, uh, well, that's okay. We can make do with my the gosh. Best, next my thin one. ones. I got it now. Jeez. <laughs> All right, there you go. Place it on top. Oh, is that's my. Now, now what, what might happen? We're going to have some corner ones. What, yeah, do some ends because what might happen here when we Crown Light discovered when we were trying this the other day is that the thin one, the single layers, the ones kind of get a little crispier. The single exposed burn. side, like corners, edges, will burn a lot faster than the one that has a perfect double layer. Yeah. So oh, yeah, you, yeah, get that as perfectly on top as you can. I'm going for the corners. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I can see that this te definitely takes a team. <laughs> it definitely needs three people. Yeah. And I, all I'm doing is putting stuff away, which I sort of love that I'm not having to, to drive. <laughs> Sitting in the back seat, it's a joy. So I think let's stop at that. Yeah, exactly. I think this is good. And we'll, and we'll do these uh, later. Yeah. Um, we have a little extra sauce and we have a lot of extra paper. So we could have used a bigger pan with our two, yeah. two strips. But so this is, they look. Show the top, show the top cam. Bacon-y. So we got our strips. And now this is the tricky part. Um, while we were testing it out, we found that each batch kind of cooked like a minute differently than the one beforehand. So we're going to put it in for about six minutes, I'd say. Yeah, we're going to have the light on and we're going to be looking around the five, six minute mark. Yeah, it, I've gone for as long as eight minutes and as short as like five. Um, you can really smell it at around three and you think it's burning, but it's not. And you might ask, well, what am I looking for? Most of, um, most of you have probably perhaps seen bacon. Maybe you haven't seen bacon, but it just, it, get, it looks, it gets a little, sometimes it gets undulating like bacon and, and it gets browned. Um, uh, all over the place. The ends tend to burn for some reason. Which what are is, we going to do with this? We're having French toast and oh, bacon. Yes. So we're going to make French oh, toast now. I was thinking... You were thinking what? Putting it in a BLT. We, that we could put in a BLT. Maybe you want to get some uh, BL... No, 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 no. I love... I love. All right, this, this half I sort of smushed by. Oh, okay. So now um, the French toast that Kryle has been working on for... Oh, you've been doing this for a long time. You keep... You always want to make a French toast. Yeah. This is, it's sort of funny how it's hit or miss with, depending on the bread sometimes. And the pan and everything, yeah. So sometimes it's awesome, sometimes it's not. That's why we kind of love it, that this is a work in progress. 
and we'd love to hear from you what, what works for you. Take yes. it away. Ha. Okay. Um, so this French toast uh, is, I love it. I think it's very tasty because I love cinnamon. It's definitely the highlight of it. So the first thing I'm going to do is take half a banana yeah, yeah. and I'm just going to mash it in a bowl. And then it would be great if one of you guys could put uh, two tablespoons of flaxseed meal with four tablespoons of water in a bowl to get. Oh, oh you going. want that in a bowl? Ahead. Yeah. Here, but well then why don't we why don't we mix that in here right now? And Did I'll, you say say that again? Two tablespoons of flaxseed meal and four tablespoons of water, or just as much as yeah, quarter cup looks. Um, you need vanilla. I have all the ingredients up here. Oh, great, 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 great. And do you want to talk about the bread? Oh, the yes. Two kinds um, of bread. Well, the kind of bread that we got to work with today, because it, it really is, you know, French toast often happens because you don't know what to do with the extra little bits of bread and the ends of bread. And, you, you know, I think classically it's with sort of, um, you know, a bakery bread. What is this called? Like, not sandwich bread, but, you know, thick, rustic bread. Rustic bread. <laughs> so we have this um, artisanal bread from our, from one of our favorite stores. Which we're going to try, and they have this, you know, little pieces, big pieces. We'll we'll see which ones work. We also have, I got um, Alvarado Street sourdough, because this tends to be a little bit drier. It, I mean, it's sandwich bread, and you, it's great toasted, but it um, it has lots of it's porous and it's kind of it's dry. It doesn't have a flexible, moist. Um, it's also very flat. It, yeah, it is incredibly flat. So you do you well want done, dry, Alvarado Street. Do you want a dry bread or a wet bread? Well, I think mm. French bread not is not a flimsy bread, not a flimsy sandwich bread. Um, I think because you're adding so much moisture with the batter, yeah, that uh, you want it to be kind of dry. So, okay. Yeah. So I've mashed this banana to almost liquidy. It looks uh, like applesauce, kind of. And Anne has set aside the flaxseed meal to kind of turn into an eggy texture. Yes. Which will help the batter stick to the bread. How much vanilla do we want? Um, we want a half a teaspoon of vanilla and just add it right into the banana bowl. And then we want, let's say, half a cup of oat milk. Half a cup? Yeah. Nice. I have a half cup somewhere. Here's I a have quarter it right cup. Here. Oh, you got it? And then we want. One tablespoon of maple syrup. I got it. This is going to be so tasty. I love the smell of it. Um, and it says a sprinkle of cinnamon, but I just kind of like to plop a whole bunch in because oh. that's what makes the smell good to me. That's probably like a I know. half teaspoon or something. Half? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Um, it's good then, to eyeball. Do you say the flaxseed's ready? Yeah. Go, go for it. Yeah. So this is kind of activated for a few moments, and I'm just going to pour that into the mixture and stir it up. And something that I found when I was experimenting with this recipe was that like a teaspoon or it's a little scoop of flour, any kind of flour. It could be oh. oat flour, wheat flour, we anything had a, kind of helps thicken it we up. We had an oat flour out here. What happened to it? I had no idea. Oh, that's so oh, funny. We had oat flour out. Oh, hey, it's over here. <laughs> it made a trip back to the back shelf. So how much do you want? Um, just a sprinkle? Sure. Or I'll just do a spoonful. So this is probably like a two a tablespoon. That's like a, it's like a teaspoon. Ta teaspoon, tablespoon. Teaspoon, tablespoon. Yeah. We'll keep it out in case you might need a little more. It just helps it give it a little thicker. Um, yeah. Stir that up. It smells delicious. Oh okay. my gosh, the bacon. I can't remember the thing. I'm going to look at the bacon. I just Check on the bacon. Hat. Is the light on? Yes. Oh, look at that. Wait, come here with the camera. Come here, come here. Get in the, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Look at that. It's close to. You see how it's getting undulating and the ends are getting blackened? It's, it's so funny having these half moon bacons. <laughs> All right, well, we'll probably have. We have another 28 seconds, Kral. I think it might be. Would you put it in for six minutes just now? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so six minutes. Um, 
six, we, might, we might be like a seven minute batch yeah, six here. Six to seven to eight. <laughs> depending on the to, oven. Depending on the oven and depending on the thickness. Yeah. And if you layered it equally, yeah. What do you do with the bread before you put it in? Should we cut it in oh. strips or? <laughs> yeah, so I've taken a piece of bread and I've cut it into like two or three equal strips long ways. And I've cooked it that way. I've cut it into squares. I've done the whole piece. And I've even cut the crusts off, taken a cup, rolled it out, and then rolled the bread into like a little swirl. So it's been like a... Oh, Kryle. I know. Kryle is an artist and she has such crazy wonderful ideas. You can do it anyway. I have the bacon going for 30 more seconds, okay? Bacon's almost ready. Yeah. Um, so what I'm are you going to do today? Today I'm going to do the whole piece because it'll cook pretty evenly over this flat, dry surface. All right, well, the pan's actually on over here on, on yeah. medium low. I'm going to go to the oven. So I'm literally just going to plop it in, maybe have it sit for a few seconds, make sure it gets coated on equal sides. You can see the banana chunks, which is delicious. And then I'm just going to... And you can hear in. it sizzle. Oh, yeah. And then we'll do it for about two or three more pieces, whatever fits in the pan. What are we going to put it on, Jenny, when we're done? I'll start with two. Coat that evenly, and then Oh, in. the bacon! The bacon! Bacon and French toast! It's the most annoying jingle jangle on our new oven. <gasps> look, 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 I think we need to take it out because that yeah. one's burning. Yeah, what do you think? It looks good. Does it look good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let, let it uh, cool up here. Yes, let it cool. And for the French toast, what I have discovered is you kind of want to let it sit for a little longer than you think because there's no egg to let the batter stick to the bread. It'll kind of just peel off with the spatula. So we're going to wait. Fingers crossed we don't have a peeling batch this yeah, time. Yeah, I know. It's been like 9 out of 10 tries. But we will see what happens. And 9 out of 10 tries has peeled is what yes. we mean. <laughs> Occasionally we get it right. We don't quite Peeled, know. so what? Yeah. yeah, it still tastes good. It does. All right, so we'll be back in a few minutes when it's when it's ready to flip. Yep, when it's ready to flip. All right, so I flipped the first one in the layer got a little stuck, but still gonna be good. I'm gonna try for this one and hope that it's a little better. I'm gonna pry. Fingers crossed. Oh, oh, a little bit better. Little yeah. better. A little toasted there, but also got stuck, but. Looking good. Let's try the bacon now. Let's try the bacon. All right. So, Kyle, can you can you uh, talk to us about how the, the bacon? I think it's cooled. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look, I know. It lifts look. right off. Look, it just lifts right off. Can you off. hear it? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Isn't that crazy? Here's the top fan. Oh my! I've got this is a little bit flexible actually. Yeah. So some corners will be really crunchy. And some corners will be pretty flexible and chewy. I don't know what bacon is supposed to taste or feel like. Okay, Anne, you, you've but, had a bacon yeah. in your history. Yeah, this one looks crunchy for you. This one looks really crisp, actually. Oh, can you hear? Crunch, can you hear? I, yes, I can hear that. Woo! Crunch! <laughs> yeah. All right, Good I want to try. Taste. I want to try a little taste. Ooh! That is bacony. You don't know what bacon's like, but no, it, it's just—it's crispy. So it actually, bacon could be kind of gummy. We're not. What's that? A little chewy. What is the word? Chewy, like chewy. fatty and chewy. Yeah, kind of, yeah. 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 Raw. Raw. So, <laughs> Ew, so it's raw. flexible in some parts, and then just like a shingle on the other parts. Okay. Well, we're gonna finish up our French toast, and then we're gonna have bacon. And French toast with berries and stuff, ba and berries, maple, maple syrup, syrup, whatever you want. Where do you put the bacon? On top of the French toast? No, on the side. Oh, I have no idea. Oh, bacon and French toast. Wow. I don't know. We could even have. You could actually put it in between your French toast. Who cares? Just have fun making it. In a sandwich. Right. I don't know. So we'll be back in a minute. All right, we've got a few more pieces cooking, but take it away, Kral, how you've served it up. So we took them off the pan and we cut them up into cute little halves. And Anne and I have our whole plate ready. Mine's still cooking. And we are going to dive in. 
we've added our bacon and some fruit. We got bananas, cherries, and blueberries. I would recommend strawberries, raspberries. I don't Peanut know. butter. Peanut butter, that's my favorite food. Um, chia seeds, syrup, anything you want. Whatever you put on your pancakes. Do you want French some maple toast? syrup? I'm gonna try mine just, you know. I'm gonna drizzle some. Just try a little, do I? Yeah, you, have a, you have a fork right there in front of you if you wanna be civilized about it. Never. <laughs> oh, it's good. It's got a really good flavor. Yeah. I can't wait for knife. mine. I'm gonna cut this up for you guys. Here, Anne, since you, since you can you give weight? Oh. Can you oh. give? Can you give weight a bite of that, or um, give weight that bite before you bite it? Oh, okay. Do you want this bite, Wade? I'll just take it right off. It's a little gooey on the inside. Yeah. Got a little flavor. Oh, so good. Is that good, it's French toasty? That tastes exactly like French toast. <laughs> he just said. Even that though, tastes exactly even like though French the stuff toast. doesn't peel off, what's so cool is the flavor goes right inside the bread. Yeah, well, it's such, mm -hmm. it was such dry, I think that's, we discovered it's such dry bread that it absorbed like. It's like a sponge or tofu. <laughs> <laughs> it just absorbs the sauce or the batter. And then when you cook it, you just gotta watch it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, it's really, really soft. So if you like gooey French toast, this uh, is for you. I can't wait, I keep eating all these because I'm so excited to have mine. Look, look at mine, you guys. Look, mine worked out. Mine, oh, wow. mine did not. <laughs> I can't wait for mine. I'm glad that, I waited. That Yay. was perfectly crispy. So maybe the key Ooh. is a little hotter well, and a little yeah, longer. We turned it up because I was getting so anxious to eat mine. Yeah. Cook it a little hotter. But hey, enjoy your French toast, bacon and French toast breakfast. Yes. Plant-based mm. version thereof. And um, Anne's too busy chowing down. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and may your bacon be crispy and your French toast be soggy. All right. Thanks. <laughs> bye and bye. may your Thank life you. be happy. Yes. yes. Bye bye.